Hey Becky, so today we are going to go over books I am anticipating for in January. So let's get started. a lot um, because usually when a new year starts a lot of uh, new books get released like December is like really light and then January is like super heavy <laughs> I don't understand but anyways um, I am super excited about the following books um, and yeah so the first one is going to be Song of Silver Flame Like Night by Amelia Wen Zhao and I am just absolutely in love with the um, with the cover and everything um, and the first uh, sentence says in a fallen kingdom one girl carries a key to discovering the secrets of her nation's past and unleashing the demons that sleep at its heart super excited for that um, I'm actually on tour for it in December um, I'm filming this in December, um, but hey, I'm excited to read it. Another one that I am also on tour for, but I'm still excited to read it, um, Unseelie by um, Ivy, Ivy Lee Houseman. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Please correct me. Um, but what drew me to this book is that it, it revolves around twin sisters, and I really like books that revolve around like sisters and stuff like that. Um, I think one, is, yeah, one is a rogue and the other a changeling. That seems like a really cool, interesting dynamic. Um, another one, this one is a contemporary, It Is the Wrong Kind of Weird by James Ramos. Another one that I am excited about is The Love Match by Priyan Priyanka Tossman. Uh, um, this one says it is um, To All the Boys I've Loved Before meets Pride and Prejudice in this rom-com about Bangladeshi American teen whose meddling mother arranges a match to secure their family's financial security just as she's falling in love with someone else. Oh my god. Okay, I love it when um, it's the um, family sets me up on blind date trope, so it's gonna have that, plus it's gonna have like another love interest. I'm excited about this. And I'm actually gonna try to get to this before January because it's on my computer. Like, sometimes Netcali doesn't send to your, um, doesn't send to your Kindle, um, so I read books on the computer as well. Um, this one reminded me a lot of Ghost Ship. It is The Stranded by Sarah Daniels, and it says the Hunger Games meets internment in this gripping near-future dystopian. I really like dystopians. Um, romances, betrayals, and fights for freedom in a world turned upside down. Welcome to the Arcadia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm interested. I'm interested. Um, the cover looks like Ghost Ship, but it says the ship is their world. To survive, they must, uh, they must end it. Ooh, so it kind of sounds like a little bit of, um, shoot, that book with the moving countries, but not Howl's Moving Castle. I can't remember. Anyways, um, next one is Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. Um, I've been meaning to read a Talia Hibbert book, and this one looks really cute. It says, it's a laugh-out-loud story about a quirky content creator and a clean-cut athlete testing their abilities to survive the great outdoors and each other. Um, another one, um, this one's kind of a callback to my past. I used to watch a lot of MTV, especially 16 and Pregnant, um, that was my drama show um so six so mtv now has a book company called mtv books and they have a book coming out called 16 and pregnant by layla thomas um and it says the bond between two best friends is put to the test when one of them gets pregnant in this contemporary teen novel inspired by mtv's iconic reality show i'm here for it i'm here for it but speaking of teen pregnancy another one that is coming out in uh january if i can find it on here there we go. Sun Keep Rising by Kristen R. Lee. I'm actually on tour for that one in January. Um, and it says, when rent increases, put a teen mom at risk of losing her home. She resorts to a dangerous game to keep her family afloat. Um, I really like stories that revolve around teen pregnancy. I don't think that they're uh, showcased enough in YA. And they're, they usually offer a lot of good... Um, caution like a good cautionary tale but also advice for 
uh, teens that find themselves in that situation. This one says it's a mix of They Both Die at the End meets The Bell Jar um, in this haunting, beautiful, young adult novel in verse about clinical depression and healing from trauma. It is called We Are All So Good at Smiling by Amber McBride. So excited. The next one I am excited about, A Tale of Two Princesses by Eric Guerin. Another one I am excited about, uh, Friday, I'm in love. I love, I love books that use song titles and I love it. Um, this one's by Cameron Garrett. I love Cameron Garrett's work. Um, and it says, it's too late for a sweet 16, but what is, I think it's Mahalia. I'm not so sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But what if Mahalia had a coming out party? A love letter to romantic comedy, sweet 16, blowouts, black joy, and queer pride. Love it. This one that kind of, I think it's more of adult, not sure, but it's called City of Nightmares by Rebecca Schaefer. I am a fan of Rebecca Schaefer's work, um, so I can't wait to read this Gotham, Gotham meets Stranger Dreamer um, young adult fantasy about a cowardly girl who finds herself at the center of a criminal syndicate conspiracy. Um, this one I'm excited about because it has an indigenous um, character in the forefront. It is The Everlasting Road by Bob... Um, Kinu, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it says the boundaries between the virtual and real world become dangerously blurred for a young indigenous girl in the follow up to a YA fantasy debut, Walking in Two Worlds. Um, so I'm not sure if I had to read Walking in Two Worlds, but I will. Walking Fire by Jean Louise is also coming out in January, and I am anticipating it. As You Walk On By by Julian Winters. I love Julian Winters. I've met him a couple times. Um, this one is The Breakfast Club meets Can't Hardly Wait with an unforgettable ensemble cast in another swoony YA contemporary. This one I have an arc of actually over there. Um, it is called 7% of Road Daverneau by Ellen O. Clover. I believe that I put this one on an anticipated list before, but I can't remember um, for sure. So it is Queen Among the Dead by Leslie Livingston, which is a stunning Celtic YA adventure set in the ancient kingdom of Erie, inspired by the legend of the first true queen of Ireland, perfect for fans as Shelby Mahurin um, and Adrian Young. I'm a fan of both of those authors, so I sure I'm gonna like this one. Um, Manifesto by um, Brittany Cavallero is also coming out. It is at the conclusion to her YA duology set in alternate history American monarchy. Um, so I'll have to catch the other ones. Saints of the Household by Ari Tissen is also coming out in January, which is a haunting contemporary YA about an act of violence in a small town beautifully, uh, in a small town, which is beautifully told by a debut indigenous Costa Rican American writer. I'm excited about that. One Last Shot by Kip Wilson, who is a historical uh, fiction author, is coming out in January. Um, it is a gripping coming-of-age historical fi uh, fiction novel in verse about Geard of Taro, a vibrant, headstrong photojournalist with a passion for capturing the truth amid pol political turmoil, and the first uh, woman photojournalist killed in combat. The side sequel of uh, Cold the Night, Fast the Wolves is coming out, which is Swift the Storm, Fierce the Flames. Live Your Best Lie by Jesse Weaver is coming out, um, and it's the blurb kind of, uh, the blurb says sometimes the prettiest Instagram feeds mask the darkest and bloodiest secrets. I'm in. It kind of feels like killer content by Kelly Roche, um, which came out in 2022. So I'm here for it. But one that I'm also on tour for, which is The Spice Road by Maya um, Ibiram. Ibiram, um, and it says in the hidden desert city of Quela. 16-year-old Amani dreams of joining the Council of al -Zi -Zi -Zahim, Zahim, the leaders who harness and protect her tribal's, tribal nation's uh, secret uh, tea magic. Tea magic. Kind of like a magic seed and poison, but not really. Uh, different kind of tea. But yeah, so I'm excited about that one. The Buried and the Bound by Rochelle Hassan. I am also on tour for, but I am anticipating it. Retro by Jared Schusterman, who is the son of Neil Schusterman and his wife, uh, Sophia Lapunti. Uh, Lapunta? Lapunti. La I'm so sorry. And I, I, I'm, I'm horrible at pronouncing things. Um, but I have a, a net gallery read of this one, and it says, What starts off as a lighthearted competition to live without modern technology for a year turns into a fight for survival in this unputdownable young adult thriller. I'm here for it. 
a new book by Elise Bright is coming out in January and it's called Reggie and Delilah's Year of Falling. I'm excited about that one. The Promise Boys by Nick Brooks is coming out in January. Um, I know I've put this one on the list before, but apparently it got moved to January. So The, the Davenports by Crystal Marcus, um, which it says a frothy and wise Bridgerton-esque YA romance with an all-black cast. I'm wanting to read it. The Black Queen by Jumita Emile is coming out in January as well, and I am anticipating it. I'm also on tour for it. And the last one that is going to be on this list is One Girl in All in All the World by Kendar Blake, um, which I think is a yeah sequel to Every Generation. Um, Buffy story. Buffy the Vampire Slayer story. So yeah, that is everything that I am anticipating coming out in January. Um, very excited for January. That's my birthday month. So lots of new releases for me. But yeah, thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all later. Bye.